everyone. Hi guys, welcome. Welcome. Hi Abby, hi Linda, hi Helen. Welcome guys, and welcome Abby as a admin. Thanks for coming everybody. Oh, Nani is crying at the door. Should I let her in to say hello and then I can take her out again? Oh, let's do it. She doesn't want to talk to us today. <laughs> she wants to look at the door and have cuddles and that's about it. <laughs> Hi Star, welcome. Hi Loretta, welcome guys. Come in. Uh oh, somebody's woken up. Shadow. Alright, time to take her back out. She uh, doesn't want to say hello. Come here. Sit. Come on. Good girl, go on. Out here. Come here, Lucia. Outside. <laughs> and now we chase her around the lounge room to catch her because she's a brat. <laughs> Alright. So she said hi. She's happy. And she's a rat bag. Hi, Nicotina. Welcome, guys. Hi Sherry, welcome. So uh, yes, uh, she's uh, she's being funny today. Anyway, <laughs> this is our little kitty so far. Uh, he's looking kind of cool, huh? Uh, we're going to be finishing it off today. Uh, so the image will be available till the end. I'll leave it on the drive until the end of the month. Uh, so you've still got a chance to grab it. Just notice there was a bit of a gap there. <laughs> so uh, if you would like it, uh, you can still pop over and grab it. What is going on with my camera today? It's a little wonky. Let's see if we can fix it up a little bit. No, nope, it's better than it was. <laughs> I had it so far up when I was doing the uh, scrapbook that uh, trying to pop it back in to the right position was a pain. Hi, Joe Beth, welcome. Oh, that sounds good. Hi, Kathy, welcome. Hi, Karen, welcome. Loretta, that sounds really good. I've got a bit of a funny tummy this morning, though. I've woken up with a funny tummy. Seems to be when I eat tomatoes, so I'm not sure. I think I might be a little bit, you know, <laughs> to tomatoes. Hi, Varika, welcome. Mmm. Food. Hi, Nancy, welcome. Everybody's coming in now to say hello. Itchy nose. <laughs> um, so... I got my Halloween special uh, of the Colouring Heaven mag. Is there, does anyone else get this? I'll just zoom out a little bit. Oh, hello. That's a bit better. It was a bit bright. Does anyone else get this? This is the Colouring Heaven magazine. Uh, you can order a subscription through, um, through Anthem Publishing. And uh, usually there's some really cool artists. So this month we had, well, I should say usually, they always have some really cool artists. So this month they've got a few that I haven't actually seen before, which is kind of cool because it means that I get to have a look at something different. Um, I don't think I've ever colored anything by Carissa Rose. Shortbread, hmm, or Zoe, or Vanessa, or Camille. So uh, some new ones in there. Nikki I have. 
But uh, the Colouring Heaven mag is really good because it gives us exposure to artists uh, that we may not have seen before. Uh, also to, I think it makes some images more available for people as well. So those that don't have printers and can't order PDFs, um, a lot of um, the artists uh, have awesome images that they sell uh, in these books as well. So fantastic, very cool, very impressed with that one. Yes, Helen, you do. Yeah, they were. And some really nice images in there too. So there was some grayscale and some line art. Also too, I was looking at uh, the ones that are by Zoe. They're like, um, it's a shelf of little magical things here. And uh, I thought this would be good for the scrapbook. Uh, so cutting it out and sticking it in my little scrapbook. I thought some of those were pretty cool. So yeah, I like those. I did add a few more things to my scrapbook. I ended up going on to Etsy and I downloaded a couple of different packs of digital uh, images. So like clip art images that you can print and cut out and use in scrapbooking or or photo journaling or art journaling or whatever. So um, I did that and added a few things to my coven scrapbook uh, to make it pop out a little bit more. So I was quite impressed with that. Uh, at the moment, there's a couple of cute little artists that I've colored before that have some digital stuff. Julia Spiri, Tiana from, uh, I think it's Lacey Dreams of Lacey of Love or something, whatever she is, uh, Tiana Loft. L-O-F-D um, and I brought actually a couple of things from her that were quite cute that I thought would look good uh, in in my little scrapbook so uh, also I found a Victorian witch pack by another girl who, who has a whole heap of digital paper and digital clip art and things like that so great idea and it uh, wasn't that expensive either some of the stuff I got was like two dollars for a pack um, which I found quite reasonable so yeah very nice, very excited. Oh, you did too, <laughs> the steampunk one. Very cute, uh, Helen, very cute. But yeah, so if you are looking for something, uh, because uh, with scrapbooking, if you've never done it before, you might not have stuff. Um, it's a great place to start, for sure. Um, I wish I had have looked on there before I started it, actually, because there was some 12 by 12 size paper that was really quite cool that I could have used uh, as my pages, but that's okay, that's okay. Um, I'm going to paint a gold moon on the front of my book, so uh, maybe <laughs> if I get time. Oh, really, Loretta? I know we, ours is kind of random. Sometimes I see them in our local um, news agents, but uh, a lot of the time I don't. So I think it just is hit and miss sometimes. Hi, Brittany. Welcome. Hi, Holly. Welcome, guys. Come in. Uh, hi Beth, welcome. So yeah, I think it's a bit of hit and miss. So again, uh, the image is available for this only till the end of the month. So if you want to grab it, grab it now. Uh, I have a link somewhere here. Let me find it. Here we go. Uh, all of the links are in the description anyway. Uh, I just posted up the links to the flip through I'm going to be doing today. Today we've got a special giveaway prize. This time we've been giving away a, a digital image each week. Uh, this week Jenny's decided to give away a book, a PDF version of the colouring book. Uh, she decided that the... Wait, I need to go back and read it because... And perhaps I should write it down. <laughs> She said the Shibby Doodle Volume 3 she will give away. I think I did that flip through uh, in the first or second week. Um, but I'm just going to find somewhere to write that down. Hmm. <laughs> I, I, I'm still moving stuff. So it was Shibby Doodle Volume 3 she's giving away. I have a flip through of a different book though today. I have a, a flip through of the Anime Doodle Girls Volume 3. Um, 
so that you get to see a little bit of everything. I'm pretty sure I did the Doodle Volume and uh, should be Doodle Volume Three in the first week or the second week. One of them. Hi, Lucy. I welcome. <laughs> Linda, I do too, actually. Hi, Laura. Welcome. So, um, yeah. But do you want to see the scrapbook quickly before we get started on this one? Not, might not be far enough away. Um, I don't think we're going to get it all in. Just let me scoot up my camera a little bit. You all wanted to see that, didn't you? <laughs> Ah, oh, there we go. Alright, hang on. Let me adjust it where you don't get my full bust in view. <laughs> Alright, I just pull it a little bit further away for a minute and show you how what I've ended up doing. All right, I've just moved the camera back slightly. So um, these are some of the things that I've downloaded. I found some digital paper with a, like a poison recipe on it and um, quite a few other things. But I added a couple of things. So I added a feather and some flowers to this one. I added a big, nice big moth in that one because it was looking fairly sparse. This one here I wasn't happy with. I felt like it was... Uh, sort of flat so I added a little symbol on there and a leaf which kind of looks real there I like that and um, I added a leaf to this one and a little skull up here as well so uh, yeah I haven't continued on here and I actually haven't colored anything else so bummer uh, I've had a pretty lousy week actually for coloring I hurt my shoulder and I'm just going to move my camera back. Bear with me. Oh, it's all a big struggle. Getting this camera right. Eventually I'll get some proper um, camera holding apparatus, I'm sure. <laughs> Eventually, it will happen. It's not quite as close as it was. Alright. Fiddled around with it there and uh, got it back again. Okay, we're back. <laughs> uh, very good, Loretta. I've seen some awesome images. I'm. Am I real for this weekend? I am real. <laughs> no, I am ready. I have. I'm going to be doing an NS witch because I'm so behind on witches. Uh, tomorrow. So a few hours from now, uh, but tomorrow. <laughs> And um, I have some Halloween decorations. Look, look. Isn't he cute? <laughs> I've got a little witch and a, a little uh, bat and a little cat uh, for my... What is it called? Uh, Nick and Tina, what are we calling it? It's a Halloween uh, color -a -thon? I don't know. What is it? What is it? Tell me. Do you have a link? Because I don't even have a link. Because I'm so unorganized. <laughs> <laughs> ah thanks star it's beautiful i know um, i can't wait to get it finished i want to add more into it ah do you loretta uh, my daughter actually picked this out she wants it after i finished faith wants this um also next month faith is drawing us uh, one a first coloring page for us to do for the month of november and um, we're going to be doing something really pretty and girly. Um, I'm very proud of her. She's uh, done us a colouring page. So I'm very excited about that. But he's so cute and he's glittery. I love the glitter. Hi, 
Hi, Shannon. Welcome. Thanks so much, Helen, for that. <laughs> they are very cute. They are very cute. She used to collect Beanie Boos. Uh, she had quite a few of them. Quite a few of them. So we're going to finish our cat. Big thank you to Jenny Lewin again for doing this four-week colour along. Bit of fun. <laughs> and some prizes, which was good. So today we're going to be giving away a PDF colouring book. And we'll do that in the middle. Let's run through what I'm going to be using. I got a few colours. So... What we might do is uh, start with the smaller items on the page. I'm just going to sharpen this one. It's a little bit white. We already used uh, a couple of these colours uh, last week. So one of those was ivory black and scarlet, which we're going to colour his cape. Also, I've made him have some boots and some gloves. Uh, so we're going to do those with those colours. And uh, we've got a bit of lemon, light lemon yellow. And I'm going to use that first, actually. So let's just use that and get it out of the way. I'm going to colour his tooth. Now, the colour lists, lists, plural, 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 I can't talk. Do you know what? He's got a wonky nose. Anyway, um, the colour list is in the description. Uh, it is listed on Patreon and uh, also in the Facebook group as well. So if you want to grab it. It is there. Hi, Kenny. Welcome, sweetheart. Thanks for coming. Spooktober Halloween Colour Streamathon Weekend. Wow. It's okay. Helen posted the schedule before. <laughs> That's a mouthful. <laughs> uh, Helen posted it for you already. So um, We're going to use some light lemon yellow and I'm going to colour in the teeth. first and get that over and done with now my daughter pointed out that she reckons that the bottom ones are teeth as well but to make them stand out a little bit better I decided that we'd just do the black underneath so just coloring them in quite firmly making sure the tooth of the paper is flat then I've got my black and I'm just going to come and fill in in between So also, after the big colorathon, uh, I am streaming on Monday my normal time, and also I'm streaming on Tuesday again, and we're going to do our monthly uh, funny uh, live stream with some guests. You did, Loretta. <laughs> Here I snap. <laughs> um... So we're going to have a couple of visitors on the channel. I'm using ivory black and uh, we're going to have a bit of fun. So we're going to have a Halloween special. I'm not sure what everybody's got planned, but I'm very sure it will be a lot of fun. We're going to be coloring an image by Chris Lopez from her hidden, 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 what is it? Paradise coloring book. So that will be a bit of fun. And I have Laura. I have the lovely Sammy from Color and Chat with Sammy. And I have May and myself. So we're going to have a bit of fun. Sound like fun? I reckon it does. Alright, I've just coloured in all of the gaps. And uh, we've got his teeth standing out there quite well. Kind of looks a bit spooky, doesn't he? 
He's definitely in the spirit of Halloween. Just going over his whiskers with the black. Which is kind of hard because I've already pushed the tooth of the paper down there, so uh, it's actually quite smooth. If you're struggling, you could use a pen uh, to go over that. But yeah, a bit of fun. Now, what are we talking about? So the visitors, yes, that's right. So we've got a few. We've got Laura Rafferty, Sammy, May, and myself. And uh, we've got a little bit of a dress up, so it should be interesting. We're not doing a colour challenge this time. We're just going to colour the image with whatever we want. Never usually comes out that fantastic because we're usually laughing so much and playing around. And uh, usually there's some sort of challenge, so <laughs> this time we just thought we'd have a bit of fun and uh, just show up. And just show up. Uh, I've also got a little bit of light purple, which we're only going to use once in the nose. So I'm just going to go in there and colour that in. I decided to do him the Cheshire Cat colours. So uh, he's purple kind of cool <laughs> kind of cool all right so he's got a cape on I've got a little bit of black here to go in and put some shadow in to our little cape coming along under his head here, there'll be a bit of a shadow. Just going to mark in his whiskers here. Just going to need to be careful of those though because we're going to be using fairly light colours in the fur and I don't want to smudge that out too much so hopefully we don't do that. Doing a bit of a shadow in the creases of the cape here. And underneath the roll here, a bit of a curve, put a little bit down on the bottom of the cape there as well. Just going to bring it, the shadow up and around the head a little bit too. So we're going to be coming over this all with red anyway, but just wanted to add a bit of a shadow behind his head there. Alright. <laughs> well, hopefully it is worth getting up because it's going to be really early. Uh, Rochelle, hello. Uh, we're doing that on Tuesday. Uh, so it'll be Tuesday morning pretty much for everybody, but it'll be early in the morning for some, uh, middle of the day for others, and end of the day for us here in Australia. I've got Scarlet, and I'm just going to come over the top of all of that area I just coloured. And uh, I'm just going to fill out the rest of the gaps. So we did the same thing in the... Uh, hang on, wait. Pitchfork. Got it right this time. Just using some firm pressure to fill that in now. Oh, 
Portobello cap. What I don't even know what time what that is. Um, Holly, it will be um, the same time we normally do. Um, I'm thinking nine or nine thirty my time, so I'm not sure of the time zones yet. But um, I'm in Australian Eastern Standard Time, which is uh, the furthest away from everyone. <laughs> So far in the future. <laughs> All right, now uh, let's add some boots. Yep, we're gonna put boots on him. I don't know, I just decided that he needed gloves and boots, so I'm using the black to. I think we'll make the gloves go to about here. Adding a little bit of a shadow in and around his hand here. Just a scribble. And uh, doing the same down here. Let's just squiggle the man from the moon. It always comes into my head when I say that. Now his boots. Let's add in a bit of a shadow under his foot here. Shadows around. Give him some boots. I just decided that red was cute, so and it would match his cape. You could do pink boots or black boots or whatever you wanted. Let your imagination run wild. Let's color it. Well, I know it'll be hi Shara, welcome. I know it will be early for Americans. Uh, and the UK it's around midday just using scarlet again to fill the rest of that in and uh, I don't know what it is everywhere else but I know that Laura has to get up really early to join us so May it's around lunchtime He's so cute. Very cute. Mr. Devil in Boots. Okay, done. <laughs> so we won't be using scarlet or the other color, those, those three again. I'm just going to move them aside now. Get them out of the way. Okay, Kenny, no problems. Hi, Diane, welcome. Oh, dear. <laughs> Loretta will just stay up for the night. <laughs> mm. so if your clocks change again I have no idea what time it will be <laughs> who knows who knows? So we're going to be colouring in the kitty with purple and pinks. Well, actually, technically in the Pablos, they're all kind of named purple colours. So, but they are, some are more purple and some are more pink. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. I've got that, you know, itchy nose and it's going to happen. <laughs> also, Linda, you're in the UK, so it'll be around lunchtime. I 
I bet it tasted better than my my breakfast too. I had like Nutrigreen, Iron Man food. <laughs> and you guys are probably going, what is Iron Man food? Well, don't worry about it. It's food. That apparently Iron Men eat. If you don't know what an Iron Man is, it's a competition here in Australia. It includes running, cycling, swimming. It's like a triathlon thing. And, um, you know, all the sporty Australian men have a go at it. <laughs> a lot of fun. All right, I've got black, and um, I'm thinking I don't want to finish the whiskers yet because I want to use uh, the lighter colors in there first, but I want to use a little bit of black in the tail. So I'm just going to come around the little fuzzy parts of the tail here, create a little bit of a shadow on each section of the tail. I'm going to alternate colors between the pinks and the purples. And uh, hopefully we'll get it looking kind of even. And uh, even though we've got red and orange and other colours in here, I thought it came out quite well um, with the rest of the image. It's nice to kind of put something different in there. The contrast is quite big uh, between the colours, but uh, I quite like it. Come out alright. You might just want to do a black cat and that's fine too. So yeah, I'm just uh, flicking out, creating a little bit of texture and some shadow. I'm going to do the same on all of the little parts of the tail here. Hopefully creating a little bit of dimension in these fluffier sections down here. Nutrigain, cool. <laughs> we need to add a bit of a shadow behind his ear. Oh, can't really see my hands. See, my camera's off. It's on the wrong angle. Needs to be on that angle a little bit so that you guys can see past my hand. Just going to do a few little flicks from the top here because his ear is kind of covering that section so we'll just add it in ourselves I'm going to add a bit of a shadow behind his head here so I'm just going to go ahead and just lightly put that in and keep flicking out from these little sections here So my daughter's been working on um, learning figure drawing and uh, the best way to do that is using ballerinas because ballerinas are in all sorts of strange positions and it just helps you to see the body's form really well. So she drew a few ballerinas and I said to her let's do a coloring page next month so she was quite happy and she's put it together in a coloring page and uh, done us a little stage background so uh, we're gonna have an attempt at some ballerinas some girly things <laughs> I shouldn't say that because boys are ballerinas too
graceful, beautiful things. There you go. Putting a bit of a shadow behind the cape there again. So it'll be a never before seen colouring page, which is cool. <laughs> now I want to do uh, one, two, three sections of purple because we're going to be doing mostly pink in the head. So I want to go purple in the body and, um, and we're going to do pink, purple. Oh, actually we are going to use that um, light purple again. Just light purple. I'm just going to come in. What is that? Something under my page. We're just going to colour in this ear. Just with light pressure. A little bit firmer near the edges. Same on this side. Ah, she's awesome. She's uh, finishing year 12 now, so she's got exams next week and over the next two weeks. Uh, they've got their last day of school today. They're off on a trip to celebrate the end of year 12. And uh, then... She's applied uh, for about seven courses at uni, so she'll be doing art of some sort. I have a feeling she's going to get offered everything she applied for, so uh, she'll have her pick, I think. Why shouldn't she? <laughs> okay, so for the purples, I've decided to use Aubergine Lilac and mauve as my purple colors and for the pinks I'm going to be using vi uh, purple violet purplish red and purple so technically they're all named purple but uh, <laughs> but these ones are more pink than these ones so Helen I I have to agree I, I've just done the patreon video for the forest the Oracle of the Forest image, which was done with Luminance and Prismacolors. And I have to say, I am starting to get over witches. I mean, how many have I done in October already? <laughs> Let's see. I've done Ennis's Seven Witches. I also did a witch for Christine Karen's birthday event. I also did a witch for... Uh, the Nathaniel Wake uh, colouring book, new colouring book, which was a witch as well. So how many is that? That's quite a few witches. I've done a few witches and I also did some vampire skin as well. So yeah, <laughs> I'll be glad once Halloween's over. Luckily, Ennis is such an awesome artist that I don't mind, but um, it does get too much, you know. All right, aubergine I'm going to be using next. So we're starting on the purple. I'm just going to flick some fur up into this section here. I'm going to try and keep my flicks quite firm and also try and keep my pencil quite sharp. So they will blunt a little bit, so I will have to sharpen them in between to make sure that they stay nice and crisp and that I get plenty of detail. So I skipped a section and I'm going down to the next part and I'm going to have to sharpen my pencil already because it's already starting to get blunt. <laughs> oh, good on you, Helen. Hi, Zealy. Did I say hi? I'm saying hi now, just in case. Huh. 
<laughs> and I just snapped the end off it. Of course I did. I've just gone over the shadow a little bit with this as well because I do want it to be coloured and not black. I just want it to be a darker purple in those sections. So I'm just going to come over those lines again. Helen, you've done awesome. That is a lot of witches. It's funny, I've done seven of Ennis's Witches and I still feel like I'm not even nearly there yet. I'm really enjoying putting a scrapbook together. I'm glad I did that though. It's sort of, uh, I guess, uh, it made something, it gave me something. Oh no, I, I was supposed to skip that one. Good on me. Don't do what I'm doing. <clears throat> Never mind. We'll uh we'll do one pink section. <laughs> or we'll just go over that with pink as well. Cause you know. I'm bound to make a mistake somewhere. There it is, I made it. It's done. okay what I'll do is I'll come in with the darkest pink which is uh, purple violet purple 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 pink and uh, we'll come in with this color we might have to do exactly the same thing with the other one though so it doesn't look out of place eh? and then we've got some purplish red. This is the pink section I'm doing now because I stuffed it up. I just want to see if it looks alright. And then some purple. You know what? It still looks pink. So I think we'll just do exactly the same thing in the top one. Okay, so I just stuffed up that one. So we'll just go back in with aubergine and fill it out like we did the others so that it's all even. But originally I wasn't going to add the aubergine in there. I was going to leave that out. That's okay. Happy mistakes. It'll probably add to the depth anyway. it and uh, then we had purple violet in the pink section we're still doing Welcome. I think you need to have 10 to enter uh, and and then if you want to do the extra uh, 12 was it? Was it 12? And then the, there's not 13 I don't think. I think the 13th is supposed to be the one that you get if you do them all or something. Uh, this is purplish red and I'm still doing the pink section. Ah, oh, the redder. <laughs> I 
just crossing some of these over a little bit make them look a little bit messier call the the pencil snapping the Loretta effect <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure the rules. I'd have to go in. It's 10 for a coven. Yeah, and then you get uh, a free image. Is that right? I'm not sure. Don't, don't quote me on that because I really am not sure. I'm using the purple now to finish that off. All right, let's get back to the uh, purple section. So I'm going to go to lilac. <laughs> Thunder! Yay! I'm so sorry. If anything happens to the power and we get knocked off, uh, try to get back on as soon as I can. But it does happen with Thunder around here. Using lilac, long, thin strokes. Trying to keep the detail there. Trying not to break my pencil. <laughs> Every single time, Loretta, I think of you. It's just random. It's funny. It's good. It's good funny. <laughs> Back down to the bottom. Kind of a little bit distorted under the shadow here but that's okay we want it to look like a shadow just flick out from there a little bit and then we've got some mauve <laughs> hi may <laughs> sorry loretta <laughs> Bev, Bev, sorry, I, I missed that question. I'll just go back and have a read. Ah, <laughs> the Cheshire Cat. I like the Cheshire Cat. He's cool. But um, I think he had... I think he was a little bit brighter than this. He, this guy's a little bit darker. <laughs> all right so we're going to use mauve now hello alicia she's watching with chat again trying to keep those textured lines if I can that's why I have my pencil sharp just coming down from the top there just so I can get color in the tip of the tail and uh, I think we need a little bit more pink in the pink section so I'm coming back in with the purple just to do some lighter Strokes through the top. That was thunder. I had a feeling it was coming. Feel it in my bones, literally. Anyway, a bit more mauve. Uh, struggling with my body last night. Everything hurt. Ah. Okay, I've got white. I'm going to just put a few streaks of white through here. I'm using the Pablo white but sometimes with this kind of thing it can be easier to use a luminance or prismacolor but uh, in this case that didn't look quite it didn't look good it looked good with this one so I'm using this one I did put the others on the list just in case you want to use the others 
just coming from the top and I'm just flicking down. Did you hear the dragons? <laughs> Did you hear the dra Imagine dragons. Thunder, yeah. Thunder. Oh, yeah, that's a good song. I like Imagine Dragons, they're a good band. My son and I were talking about music yesterday and saying how it's just not the same anymore. They've just, things have changed so much. <laughs> and then we're done. I'm just going to come back in with the violet. Sorry, lilac in the purple. Just deepen that up a little bit. Just at the base. And then the uh, purple violet in the pink sections. Just to add a little bit of depth in there. Okay, now, um, if you would like, uh, I've got my Caran d'Ache Full Blender and I'm going to use that a little bit just to get rid of some of the... Blender, have you ever done a face-to-face? -face? A face-to-face -face what? Face-to-face? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Uh, face -face? hmm? Hi, Christy. Welcome. So this is my full blender. First one I've used without breaking all the way to the end. So cool. Anyway, <laughs> I have a box full of broken uh, blenders. <laughs> Hi Jenny, welcome. <laughs> we, um, no, put it in a put it in an extender and it won't break. It it won't break. So what I do is I'll I'll show you. I'll give you an example. I've got a whole packet of them here that's not open. This is a pencil extender. This one I got from like China. It's just a piece of aluminium pipe with a, a little screw thing on the top there and that holds the pencil in. The tighter that you tighten it, the tighter these little parts squish together and tighten your pencil so this is what holds a pencil this is squishes these pieces together to hold it in place so I have a blender and I have brand new pencil blenders or extender blenders <laughs> let me grab one out okay so this is a brand new one brand new you go like this and you put it all the way down the end so this is all that's showing and you'll find that by doing that you're protecting the middle of the pencil which is usually where it breaks and uh, as you come down you can pull the pencil out further and further until you get to the end like I have with this one here and it hasn't broken so I have a whole box of broken ones that I was breaking all the time because you can't help it. They're not, even if you're not putting a lot of pressure on, they're not very strong. Um, and they do break really easily. Now, my phone went off. <laughs> organizing uh, my middle one is turning 18 in November so I'm just organizing a birthday party and people are like oh my god I can't believe Faith's 18 anyway <laughs> I'm just going to come over sticking in the same direction that the strokes of hair are going in or fur and uh, I'm just flattening out the tooth getting rid of any white space that's sitting there that uh, looks sort of fluffy or 
spotty I call it spotty and uh, what it will do is it'll just deepen up the color a little bit as well and I should be using my brush but tidy so I was just wiping the dust away with my hand then What a cute little tail! Oh no, I haven't. Are they good? Oh, Shara, sorry. Oh no, Rochelle! <laughs> no! You jinxed yourself, yeah. All right, purple violet, just a tiny bit in the ears here. Purple violet, and then some purplish red, just a little bit coming around this sort of fluffy section of the ear. Just with a light pressure, firmer right near the shaded area here on the edge of the ear. I've um, scratched my paper and there's a big dint in it there. Can you see it coming across the page? And then I've got some of the purple. Coming right to the very edge. There are so many products that I'd love to try. I just can't afford to get them all. I try to get extra stuff for you guys to, you know, do reviews and things like that. But, um... It all comes down to the funds at the end. <laughs> and a little bit more of the light purple on the very edge, but I'm gonna use white to essentially blend this all out and just lighten it up slightly. So it's slightly different colored to the rest. So I've got white starting from the lightest area and moving out to the darker area. I'm using firm pressure to just flatten out that tooth as well. Hopefully I can get rid of that scratch that's there. Looks like it's blending in a fair bit. That's good. I've moved this paper, piece of paper around so much. It's probably got loads of dints and scratches and things in it. If you don't think that that's light enough, then grab the Luminance or the Prismacolor and uh, add a little bit extra. Look at that. Alright, done. Uh, I've got aubergine again. I'm going to start with this one, I think, down here. Just doing his butt. I'm just going to start in the middle with the darkest colour. So starting with aubergine. in the middle doing it again here starting with aubergine in the middle up here aubergine in the middle and let's do some aubergine at the top there as well i'm not sure if that was his chest or part of the pumpkin but it's part of his chest now I 
Okay, what blender do I use? Were we talking to me? I use the Caran d'Ache Full Blender. And you love them. This is the one that I use, my favourite. And Laura wants to send me a picture of an image she's done with the Art and Fly ones. Yeah, and May likes the Full Blender. Yeah, have <laughs> I got that right? It comes with two. Ah, cool. Ah, oh, you do? I didn't like color. I didn't like uh, Lyra that much. I'm just making sure I'm caught up with everyone. Um, <laughs> what's the next color? Uh, lilac. Just coming over the top of the aubergine. And uh, just lightening up my pressure on the very edges here. I kind of wanted the middle of his body to be darker to make it look like he was uh, kind of rounded. And uh, the reason I'm doing the opposite, normally you would do lighter in the middle. Uh, but because he's in the dark, we're doing it the opposite because the light's reflecting from the moon. So he's going to have lighter on the very edges. So this is a uh, mauve again. Coming to the very edge. And coming over the top of all of the other purple that I've done just to blend it all in nicely, make it nice and smooth. And uh, let's use a little bit of the Luminance White, I think, because it was a little bit brighter, just to blend off that very edge. Oh, how cute is he? Let's do a little bit of blending on that end. Now we're going to do the pink blend, which was purple violet in the middle. I'm not going to do any on that bit. Just a little bit there. And then we've got purplish red. Doing the same thing, just lightening up the pressure close to the edge, but going over firm in the middle. So we're creating a little dark patch. And uh, just a tiny bit here on this edge. And then purple. Facebook. Laura, Facebook. Hi, Freedom. Welcome. All right, and then we've got purple on the very edge. Just blending off that. Oh, wait. I just can see a bit of paper there. I just want to make sure I've got all of the white of the paper. And then the luminance again. 
to do that very edge piece. You look so cute. Alright. Now let's do uh, his ears up here. Actually, I'm going to need to have a break in a second. So we'll... I'm going to put a flip through on of another one of Jen's books. This is not the one we're doing the giveaway for, though. Uh, I'm using Aubergine now, and I'm just going to do these ears. I've just done a bit of a shadow area around the head first. And then I'm just going to flick out, like we did in the tail. Just going in a bit of a circle here. Following the hair direction. So flicking out. Just kind of turn it around so I can flick in the right direction. And then we've got our lilac. And then a little bit of the mauve, just to finish that off. So I'm pretty sure the book that we're giving away today was the one I did in the first week. So if you want to go back and check out that flip through. Um, And uh, of course we're going to use a little bit of white just to add a little bit of contrast in there. I'm going to use the Luminance one this time because it's a little bit stronger and more opaque. And I want a little bit of white in there so... Alright, that bit's done. All right, I'm going to do a flip through for you of one of Jen's books. Don't ask me which one. <laughs> um, I put it in the description of the video, so let me see. Don't miss our favourite ogre. This one is Anime Doodle Girls Volume 3. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Jen. <laughs> I'm going to do a flip through of that one and then uh, we'll do a giveaway. But we're not giving away this book that I'm showing now. Uh, we are giving away a different book which I'll go through after we've done the flip through. So let's pop through and have a look.
So guys, that was a sample of another one of Jenny's books. Um, I've shown three over the last four now, over the last four weeks. The one that we're giving away today for the giveaway is the one that we showed in week two, which is Shibby Doodle Whimsy Characters Volume 3. That's correct, yeah, um, Jenny. Uh, which, 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 which is that? <laughs> which, this image that I'm colouring now is actually from. Okay, so, <laughs> which, which is that? Hi, Pat, welcome. Uh, thanks for dropping in. <laughs> Alright, so, the book we're giving away is a PDF version of the book that this original image is in. Well, not this, like, image that I've coloured, but where the image comes from. So, uh, we're going to do a giveaway for that now. Okie dokie, I'm just trying to move bits out of the way here. I just had yogurt um, and a drink. <laughs> So uh, we're now going to do the giveaway. So did you know what happens? You know iPhones are so like clever. Look what just popped up on my phone. Now, start a timer for 1 minute and 30 seconds. Isn't that so weird? Because you know what we're going to do? We're going to start a timer for 1 minute and 30 seconds. How cool is that? Siri learns. So if, <laughs> so um, I'm just testing it to see if it works. <laughs> so let's do the giveaway rules first. La -da -da. Pick one number between one and 100, only one number per person. The first person to call that number owns it. No chatting during number calling until the winning number is drawn. No numbers before the words go, 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 or after the words stop, stop, stop will be counted. Don't forget, no chatting during the number calling. I know, it is, May. Very smart. Anyhow, make sure that you guys are on live chat and not top chat. Uh, because if you're on live chat, you'll be able to see the numbers as they're coming up. The closest number to the generated number will win without going over that number. So don't forget that. <laughs> make sure that you are on live chat again just click on that little box at the top there make sure that the click on the arrow and click down to live chat any giveaway or promotion is in no way sponsored endorsed or administered by or associated with youtube facebook instagram or jenny lewin all right are we ready are we ready to rumble <laughs> what is that off come on it's probably an australian thing and no one will know what i'm talking about okay Oh, it worked! Alright, let's put the timer on. Everybody ready? Everybody ready? Ready! <laughs> Perfect, guys. Everybody is welcome to join this one, admins as well, everybody who's won a prize because we're doing the whole book. It's a special one. Everybody can enter this one, guys. So go ahead and get ready. Here we go. Go, go, go. <laughs> go, go, gadget. I don't know. Um, okay, I'm going to use black again. Hello, Mr. Ivory Black. I'm going to do a couple of flicks. Up the nose, just some light ones though, not heavy pressure. And uh, just a few flicks out. And there as well. Just to darken it up a little bit in that, that area mainly show that there's a bit of a dip in there 
and that the cheek sections of the cat are actually higher. And uh, about halfway between the edge of the mouth and the middle of the mouth, I'm going to do a couple of flicks in towards there and back out. So we've created a bit of a cheek. So coming in. Come on, guys. Good luck, everybody. Gosh, that time went really quickly. That went really quickly. You got like a second. And I think the video's around 15 seconds behind. So you've got that long. But uh, here we go. Thank you all very much for joining. Oh, he's looking so cute, isn't he? Isn't he looking cute? Anyway, don't answer that yet. Let's go to random.org. Siri wasn't smart enough to say, do you want to go to random.org? Smart enough to tell me I needed a timer, though. Generate. The winning number today is number 77. 77, I'm in heaven? I don't know. <laughs> so who was closest to number 77 without going over that number, though? <sighs> oh, Diane, you just went over. Bummer. Bummer. So close. You know what? I think it might have been Loretta. Does our admin agree there or concur? No, Holly, Diana went over. <laughs> It's the closest to it without going over it. Who's Jill? No, you already you were before Jill. <laughs> you were before Jill. <laughs> Unless you were on uh, top chat and you didn't realize it. <clears throat> Congratulations, my dear. I will contact you. Okay, so that was with the black. Done, done, done. Uh, now, with the black, I think... Uh, what Kitty's chins. It, normally, hair goes backwards, doesn't it? Let's just do... This is kind of a... What do you call it? Impromptu thing here. I hadn't really thought about the mouth very much at all. I've just done some hair flicking out from the center there. Pretty cool, huh? Hey, so cute. All right, now the kitty cat is going to be mainly pink. So I have to start with purple violet. And I'm just gonna flick out and up towards the top of his head. Just shading a little bit around his nose to create a bit of a shadow there. And then flicking out over the top of these black areas. Let's just flick back the opposite direction and then flicking back out towards the edge of the face. So we've got a bit of a dip in the fur here. Is anyone colouring along to this? I haven't seen any WIPs this, this um, event. Post them up in the group if you've done or starting to do it or if you're following along or using the colour blends in a different image. Let us see what you've, what you've created. I'd like to see that. I can hear a helicopter. There must have been an accident. I hope everyone's okay. So flicking towards and flicking back.
<laughs> you look so cute. <laughs> All right. Now we want ugh, not to have funny eyes. Uh, purplish red. We're going to repeat the same process. Kind of doing what we do when we make hair. Giving us a little bit of a highlight in the middle of each of these sections. It's so very cute. This was a cute pick by us, Jenny. A very cute pick. <laughs> he looks like he's got a light colored mustache. Mustache. Hi, Jill. <laughs> you did win the lottery. Oh no, Pat. I know that feeling. I need to sharpen this one. It's blunted off it a bit. Blunted off it a bit. Off it. I can't even talk now. Uh, purple. And just coming over and through this middle section now. So I was hoping to make a little bit of a cheek. I think it looks alright. I think we've done that. I think I've created a little bit of a cheek. He's cheeky. Alright. The face is done. Um, purple violet. Just coming around the cheek here. So just looking out from the chin. And then coming around and just flicking back up towards the top. Coming over it with the purplish red. That's cute. And then the purple. I'm just going to turn it upside down though. Oh, back around the right way so I can just fill in some of the colour under the chin here. And uh, I'm going to use the Luminance White and just uh, create a little bit of white through there. Yes, cheeky. Hi, Elaine. Oh, that's okay. Just using the Luminance White just to blend out the very edge of the mouth here. I'm just flicking into the areas where there was no colour and just blending those off and then just coming in and making sure that the tooth is all flattened out if I can and uh, also the colourless blender will come in handy to do that too because it means you don't have to cover it all with white and lighten it up too much I'm trying to stay in the same direction that the fur is going. Using the luminance again in the middle section here where we've lightened it up. This is where I wasn't sure if we came in with that black pencil before we did this if it would smudge it out or not so it doesn't seem to be too bad. 
he's very cute. And then the blender. Just trying to get rid of the tooth again. Just be careful over that black. Okay, so those bits are done. Uh, I want to come back in with that black pencil now and just fill out that whisker. Not sure what the shape of that was. I covered over it a bit too much there. Gonna pop a couple more in between. Short ones. Oh, look. Oh no, Jenny. We actually had a really, really hot night here in Australia. Because um, we're not quite, it's still um, spring here, but we're starting to come into the warmer weather. So yesterday was one of our hot, our hot first hot days. And uh, we didn't get much sleep. All right, so using the oh, rain just started, purple violet. Uh, I'm going to come back down now from the top of the head, and I'm going to miss these little V sections because we're going to put purple in there. So just going down from the top of the head first. down and around just creating a little bit of a shadow underneath the headband and then just flicking down purplish red here comes the rain again and then the purple We should have met up with the stuff that we did on the front of the face here now. A bit of white in that middle section. And then the colourless blender. rid of the white gaps cute <laughs> oh Helen thank you <laughs> no night no, May thank you Abby Oh, May, we're going to see you during the weekend anyway. And uh, and then next week for Tuesday. Oh, happy Halloween. Thanks for all you do. Thank you so much, Helen. <laughs> oh. So lovely. Let's add some purple in. From the top, I've got aubergine. Just going to add some flicks, just like we did in the tail, coming down, and then we've got some lilac, reaching down, and then a little bit of the mauve to fill in the bottom section. A 
so we've got a bit of purple coming through that pink which I like. I might need a little bit more of the actually I might go with lilac. It's a little bit brighter. Just going around the outside of the V just to darken that up a little bit. All right. Hmm. Wonderful. All right. Uh, so pink. Come back with pink. We've got purple, violet again. And now I want to sort of create a little bit of, I don't know, we need a meet up section, I think. Or do we need to just bring it down? Uh, I think we need a meet up section. So using the purple, violet, I'm just going to come up the side of the face here just do some little flicks up towards the top and then come back down I've just got to try and miss that those little triangles on the side so maybe we should just color those first quickly using uh, perhaps just a little bit of lilac on this side because uh, there's not a lot of room That looks quite cool anyway. There's not a lot of room for texture in here, so I'm just going to fill it in. Black colour. I've just like, left the very edge for a bit of uh, white. A bit of a highlight there. Okay, now let's try that using the purple violet. Just creating a little bit of shape. It's really hard with the I find to, uh, I've missed a purple patch there. Aha, uh -huh, purple patch. It's not a pumpkin patch, it's a purple patch. Purple I like around the outside and middle. I need a little bit of white in there, I think, to lighten those up a bit. Using the Luminance White, it's a lot more opaque than the others, so. Alright. Come back down this way. So I've kind of gone up one side and I'm coming back down the other side. So we can meet up the sections that we've done already. Thank you so much, Helen. It's just uh, disappeared there, but awesome. Hi, Joey. Welcome. All right, and then we're coming up with purplish red. Just meeting up there, down. Up. Down, flying around, looping the loop and I'm so weird, you know. I think of songs. When I say things, these words pop into my head and then a song pops into my head afterwards. I swear, it's just crazy stuff. Stuff made of craziness. Purple. You love the lumpy white? What lumpy white? I did see actually and I haven't had a chance to go over and have a look uh, it's just been hectic uh, a few days just not been myself since Monday been a bit out of sorts but I will pop over and check it out I'm sure it'll be awesome okay yeah white oh wait before we yeah, no, I'm going to do white first. Just in those highlighted bits first. Huh. 
hopefully we've created a little bit of shape here. It's pretty good. Colorless blender. Full blender, I should say. I'm actually waiting for a book from... Uh, I'm pretty sure it was Julia. I thought she was going to send me one of her newest books, but uh, we're kind of waiting for it to come out on Amazon Australia, and I don't think it has yet. I think that's why I still haven't heard from her. Do you know, I get, it's funny, I get Alina Lazareva and... Uh, <laughs> Julia's very mixed up all the time. Terrible. Need to add my black whisker in there. Just a bit stronger there because I've blended over it. And uh, just add this one in. How are we going for time? I was hoping we'd finish him. Um, oh, he looks so cute. I like it. Darn autocorrect. Loomy white. Ah, oh, getcha. That's funny. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> uh, we need some pink ears. Let's do purple violet from the top. And then from the bottom. Lumpy white. I love the Lumi too. Purplish red. I know that it's an expensive pencil, but it really does do some awesome tricks. So, um, I don't mind spending a little bit to get that trick going. <laughs> Noomy white, not lumpy white. Alrighty. Lilac. He's got cute chubby legs. I like it. I like and a little bit of mauve. And the luminance white just on the edges again. Just lighten it up slightly. Not lumpy, it's loomy. <laughs> Alright, we're going to do the same steps as we've done there, but up in here. But this time we're just going to bring all the colour around to the edge of him. So starting with the pink, uh, purple, violet first, just flicking down in the direction that the limb is, is going in. So I'm just going to curve this one round. Just going round and curving around the bottom of his foot here. pink. Have I got time to do the bottom? I hope I do. 
shouldn't take much time to do the bottom section there's only the road to do we've just got a few shadows to do and then the rest is just shading so I think we've done really well this one it uh, worked out quite good I think we had one short video which was at the start and then the rest have all taken me too long and uh, some purple right to the edge of the page It's going to come from this edge as well. Cool. Bit of white. Just to fill in the edge. We need some more of the darker pink again here. Some of the purple. No, uh, yeah, a little bit of the purplish red will do. Try and keep that nice and pink. Actually, uh, two products that I use all the time: Luminance White and the Caran d'Ache Wool Blender. Thanks so much, Joe Bear. Me too, Loretta. Ah, Pat. I think I'm after you. Uh, no, I'm after somebody else tomorrow. Who am I after? I'm after Craft Mrs. Coffee, I think, tomorrow. Uh, I need the full blender just to fill in the gaps. And then I better move my butt along so we can finish this image off. Again, I just want to do a big thank you to Jenny Lewin for this beautiful image. And if you're just coming in, uh, the image will be available till the end of the month and then it'll come down. Uh, and it's available in the Chibi Doodle, Whim Chibi Whimsy Doodle <laughs> Volume 3. I always get the name wrong. It's in that one. It's in the description. gel pen and I'm just going to put the gel pen actually I'm not going to use gel pen I would normally but because I'm in a bit of a hurry I'm going to use the Pintor, Pilot Pintor pen extra fine it's a little bit quicker Nani is crying at the door again just scratch that off a little bit a little bit thick it's a bit evil this cat <laughs> I'm sure he's having fun adding a little bit of a highlight around him just to try and lift him off the page a little bit 
Throw it in your mouth a little bit. Adding a little contrast helps in so many ways. Just adding a couple of white whiskers. I really do like this pen, it's pretty cool. <laughs> there you go. And uh, also coming around just a little bit under the paw and over the paw there just to separate it from the background a little bit. of little flicks of fur very cute okay uh, let's do the background or the foreground I don't know the ground <laughs> let's do the ground <laughs> a little bit of hi Mia welcome missed you haven't seen you today a little bit of black really lightly though just around the shadow areas of the pumpkin. Just coming around these rocks. And uh, just under these, I don't know, we're going to make them little ditches in the road. Yeah, I'm doing a little bit of a shadow off, casting it off to this side because the moon's coming down from here. Just going to put a little bit of shadow in the background here as well. Make it more interesting to look at there. Alright, that was with just ivory black to start with. Next I have <laughs> no, I think it's a cat pretending to be a devil. Sepia. I'm gonna use firm pressure and uh, bring that around the outside. Put the pumpkin here. lightening it up as I come away from it.
making sure there's a fair bit of shadow uh, on this side as well. If there's any gaps in, in the colouring, like you're not shading it well, don't worry because the blender will cover that up anyway. So I've done firm pressure in the darkest shadows and then I've lightened my pressure as I've come out and around. Sorry Jenny, I've just covered over your signature there. like that <laughs> I need a drink and I've got four minutes six minutes um, be dazzled I don't know <laughs> I've got um, Van Dyke Brown coming over the top of that again Extending out further. I want to cover over all of the white page except for the rocks. We're going to leave them and colour them separate. Still doing light pressure in the lightest areas though. I've got one more colour to come in with so I don't need to do this with heavy pressure all over just in the darkest spots first oh it just broke And then some brownish beige. Oh, thanks, Pat. You know, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but you just need to practice. Sit. And uh, I'm filling out the page now with this colour. And uh, just, I don't know, do, I don't know, some circles or something. And uh, try to have a practice. Look, I've scratched my page here again. Look at this. There's another scratch in my page across there. It's all good. It adds to the texture of the ground. <laughs> Actually, you don't even need to use your blender down here. You could just leave it nice and rough looking. Um, as it is the ground it's going to be dirt so dirt has texture but if you want it all smooth you can use the blender to smooth it all out I think I'm just going to leave mine rough I think I like it a little bit of texture through there gives a little bit of character Another helicopter. 
Hmm, that will be my doorbell. Excuse me for one moment. Sorry about that. All back. <laughs> Package time. I got some deodorant. A little while ago, I ordered some natural deodorant from Native. And uh, I really liked it. My son and I both tried it. Because we're both allergic to aluminium. And... Uh, we liked it, so I ordered more. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Thank you, Abby. <laughs> All right, and uh, the rocks we're going to do with uh, a little bit of beige just on the darkest side. I'm going to use a tiny little bit of the CPR. Where'd that go? Just to add a little bit of detail in there. Just going around the shape of the rocks there. And using beige to come over the top. In the shadowy areas. And the base of these rounder ones. And then some light beige. I think it's light beige, yep, light beige over the top. There's not a huge colour difference between the beige and the light beige. But enough. Now I'm going to use the Lumi white just on the very edge. And uh, some white gel pen or paint pen, whichever one you're using. Whoops. Do that a little bit thinner, can't I? Just to add the highlights over the top. I'm done. I'm just going to reapply some of these highlights around the outside of the grass and the pumpkin as well because they've all been covered over with a bit of pencil now so a big congratulations again to Loretta for winning the PDF book and a big thank you to Jenny again for this beautiful image. It's really cute and um, I really enjoyed colouring this one. It was a little bit different. And um, I like doing things different. It's nice to learn different things. For me as well, not just for you guys, but for me. Get off there. 
think I might add a little bit of uh, maybe some white pen just along this highlighted parts of this pumpkin. I just feel like it needs a little bit some of something. So contrast makes it look. I don't know. Makes things stand out. Yeah, I think that it just needed a little bit of something. Who knows what it actually needed, but... I think that's good. Thank you Helen for the super chat today it was awesome and thank you so very much for everybody for coming along um, I'll scan him up and I'll pop him up uh, I, I've scanned up my my sketch up one he's a little bit different um, to this one so I don't know it almost came out the same but I added a few more details in here I think he needs a little bit of a highlight on his nose to um, <laughs> just to add something to it but yeah I think he's awesome so next month we'll be doing an image from my daughter Faith how cool will that be um, so we're going to have a play with some ballerinas and um, maybe we'll have a look at a little bit of mixed media for that maybe I might buy some tulle and we might make some tulle uh, skirts on our ballerinas <laughs> we'll see but um i hope you enjoyed this one guys big thanks to jenny make sure you pop over and check out her facebook group instagram facebook page etsy store all of those things they're all in the description um so i'd love for you guys to support her and follow and all that stuff that you do and congratulations again to loretta and everybody else who won a prize over this month and I'm going to see you all for our spooky Halloween-a-thon. Spook spooktober, Hall whatever. Sp wait, I'll see you then. <laughs> um, thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Bye. We'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget, come check me out. <laughs>